The Stridsvagn 103, STRV 103, commonly referred to as the S-Tank, represents one of the most radical departures from traditional main battle tank, MBT design during the Cold War. Originating from Sweden, this unique vehicle redefined the concept of tank warfare with its innovative approach to armor and firepower. Unlike conventional tanks equipped with turrets for their main guns, the STRV-103 featured a low-profile design that integrated its armament directly into the hull. This configuration allowed the tank to conceal itself in earthen ditches, taking advantage of its surroundings to enhance its defensive capabilities against enemy armor. Designed with a doctrine focused on defensive positioning, the S-Tank became a formidable asset on the battlefield. The compact design of the SDRV-103 enabled it to operate with a crew of just three personnel. Two crew members operated from the forward hull, while the third was positioned in the rear, facing backward. This unique arrangement allowed the vehicle to be piloted in reverse while keeping the main gun trained on the enemy. The crew consisted of a driver, who also served as the gunner, the vehicle commander, and a radio operator, who doubled as the rear-facing driver. The tank's hull was reinforced with armor up to 100 mm thick, providing substantial protection. To enhance its battlefield versatility, all STRV 103s were equipped with a dozer blade for earth moving operations. This feature complemented the tank's low profile, making it a smaller target for enemy fire. However, the fixed main gun design posed a significant drawback, as it required the entire vehicle to pivot in order to engage adversaries. The STRV-103 was developed to succeed the British Centurion tanks in the Swedish Army, with its main armament being the 105mm Bofors L-62 rifle gun. In addition to the main gun, the tank was armed with two fixed 7.62mm KSB-58 machine guns, with an optional KSB-58 serving as an anti-aircraft measure. The main gun was also equipped with an auto-loading feature, allowing the crew count to be minimized. Production of the SDRV-103 took place between 1967 and 1971, with a total of 290 units completed. Despite its innovative design, the SDRV-103 never saw combat service and was ultimately retired by 1997, as the Swedish army transitioned to the superior German Leopard 2 MBT. SDRV-103A featured either a Rolls-Royce K60 diesel engine producing 240 horsepower or a Boeing GT502 gas turbine with 300 horsepower. STRV 103B offered either a Rolls Royce K60 diesel engine of 240 horsepower or a Caterpillar 553 series gas turbine with 490 horsepower. STRV 103C equipped with a Detroit diesel 6V53T engine producing 290 horsepower or the Caterpillar 553 gas turbine also offering 490 horsepower. All models utilized a gas hydraulic hydro pneumatic suspension system featuring a transmission capable of two forward and two reverse speeds. The S-Tank achieved a maximum road speed of 31 miles per hour with a range of 240 miles. In terms of dimensions, the SDRV-103 measured 29 feet, 6 inches in length, 12 feet in width, and stood 7 feet tall. A proposed D-model aimed at replacing the SDRV-103 in the 1990s was completed as a single prototype derived from a modified SDRV-103C, but it was never adopted into service. The Stridsvagn 103 remains a notable example of military engineering innovation, showcasing a unique approach to tank design that emphasized defensive capabilities and crew efficiency.